Uh, well, the first one that we're going to go over is, is what we call a acute triangle, but it's not a right triangle, because remember, acute triangle just has to have <coughs> all, acute triangle has to have all acute angles. This is what we're going to call an acute oblique triangle. Okay, and uh, actually maybe let's change that angle a little bit. No, no, no. There you go. Let's make it look like this. Okay. Now, when you label, let's say you have to create your own. It doesn't matter how you label, but there is something that's going to be very specific. You guys are used to our right triangle, how that's labeled, and so forth. When we're labeling our acute, our, our oblique triangle, notice that all these angles are acute. We'll label them A, B, and C, but notice now we're dealing with the angles, where A, B, and C in capital letters represent the angle. Then across from them is going to be their lowercase, which is going to represent the side length. All right? So remember, capital represents angles, lowercase represents the sides, and this is, will be an acute oblique angle. All right? So we don't have the properties of the right triangle anymore, but we're going to learn new properties of our acute oblique triangle. All right. Now, the next 